Good evening everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube. We are in Paris. Paris. When? Finally. Finally. Guys, it's actually been the, the journey. I won't, I won't say from hell, um, but a journey from close to hell. Because um, <laughs> we're trying to give off positive vibes. Yeah, we are positive. Um, we're in Paris living our best life. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be here. But we started our journey today. We were driving to the airport in Manchester at 12 pm. It's now 10 to 9. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my so, God, so taking us nine hours. Yeah, nine hours to get to our hotel, which is crazy. But basically, <laughs> bearing in mind the flight took an hour. The flight took an hour, but it was still, so first of all, the flight was delayed by half an hour. We were like, that's fine, mm, mm. no biggie. And then it was our fault because we accidentally went to um, Paris Bouvet. Um, instead of, uh, what is it called, Charles? Charles de Gaulle. Ch yeah, the, the the popular airport we didn't go to. It just said Paris in the name and we And it was really cheap flights, Paris. so we thought that was good. Anyway, then we were meant to get an hour-long shuttle bus into the centre. That actually was over two hours, I'd probably yeah. say two and a half hours in a, in a shuttle bus, um, because number one, it's the Rugby World Cup, which we didn't realise. <laughs> number two, there was a crash, a big yeah. crash involving like three or four cars. Yeah. And number three, I think it's, it, there's like, I think the reason why there's like um, roadworks and things is the Olympics next year. Uh, so I, think, I think they're doing everything up, so the the traffic is just insane. Yeah, we went to the closest supermarket we could find. It was the bougiest one I've ever seen in my yeah. life. It literally felt like being in like Whole Foods. Yeah, it pretty much was a Whole Foods. I reckon we got we got a few snacks because we're starving. But our booking isn't till eleven. Luckily, so, yeah, <laughs> we wouldn't have made it any earlier. Yeah, and we're getting like proper like French cuisine so yes. we can start our holiday from now and maybe we'll do a little snack taste test as well. But well, you're currently on a suitcase and a kettle. So <laughs> <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers right now. Uh, so first off we saw these truffle crisps but we went for the small bag because the big bag was five euros. Yeah. <laughs> We're on a budget. Then we went for these Thinny mini pretzel flats because they said everything, so I'm guessing that's everything but the bagel seasoning, which is so nice. Then we thought we'd go a bit French. As you can see, there's a theme of crisps. Um, <laughs> jambon de pay, pears? Is that like ham flavour? I think so. Is this in focus? And then we've got some sour sweets. Hey, a French bottle of wine. <laughs> looks cheapest like, one we could find. Yeah, looks like piss probably. <laughs> it tastes like piss. Um, but it was five euros. So. <gasps> we need a corkscrew. No. <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> Why did you not check that? No. And then last thing we got was, I know, Bajine mayonnaise dip. <laughs> I actually think we were a bit delusional. Mmm. <laughs> these taste good. Should I try the dip? They literally... These taste like truffle. And I love truffle. What do you think of that? Do you know the dip's quite nice? Absolutely. And the ham one? Mmm, these taste strong, very hammy. Mmm. There you go. Do we even have ham crisps in the UK? Because I feel like they, no. we always have to get them on holiday. Mm, we have bacon. They do just taste like bacon, actually. They taste like frazzles. Um, smoky bacon walkers. Okay, interesting. They're quite thick. They do, are bagel shaped. <laughs> I think that well, was quite dry, even with the dip. Mm. They don't taste like everything but the bagel season and the muscle. They don't taste like pretzels either. I think they taste like, just like a cracker. Oh my God, we look so much better. Well, I mean, I do from the clip before. Uh, me and Charlotte. Whoa. And Charlotte. I know, <laughs> are ready now. But yeah, we're going out for dinner. I'll show you what we get up to. Hopefully gonna see the Eiffel Tower sparkle this evening as well. That's the goal. Sentir la musique, je peux sentir le jazz, ça, ça me fait quelque chose. Et la musique classique, ça me fait quelque chose. Enfin, tellement, la, 
La musique classique, c'est pour la tête. Et le jazz, c'est pour le corps. obviously I've just said good morning so it is morning time um, in terms of last night I, I did want to film a little bit more but I think we were just a little bit overwhelmed maybe in the wrong area <laughs> and it was our first first night we're just you know finding our feet um, but I did try snails so we went to a restaurant called Bouillon Pigalle I'm um, gonna have to excuse our French because the whole time we've been here we're like but have you heard that um sound that's like bonjour do you speak English that's us <laughs> I even went to a bar last night and I was like duh rum and she was like I speak English I was like sick thank you <laughs> um so a proper you know arrogant English and in terms of food what would you rate it Charlie she sat there back um I think we both rated it a six. Yeah, we said six. The French onion soup was delicious. delicious. Yeah, that was so that good. was really nice. The snails, mm. um, you would have seen a clip of um, me in the snails. They were okay. They actually, in terms of taste, tasted fine. But I think it's like in your head, you know they're snails. So halfway through, I'd like have like a little bit of a gag, and then I'd eat it, and like it was fine. But Personally, I don't want to gag when I'm eating my food. <laughs> <laughs> so in future, I probably wouldn't get them again. But if someone if someone on my table, say, got them and was like, do you want one? I'd maybe have one again, but I wouldn't purchase them myself, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think I'd even try them again. I think no, you I've did. You, it now. I can say that I tried to You weren't them. a fan, were you? The other good thing about that place was we got a litre of wine for £15. Like, how <laughs> good is that? Like, no res restaurant in... Manchester or even England really I think would do a litre of wine for £15 so that was amazing and that was like we'll, we'll go on to another bar after that even though I've been to Paris and I've been near the Moulin Rouge before didn't realise that the, air, the kind of area it was in very interesting shops <laughs> very, very interesting shops around there um, we're up dressed and we are ready to go for I wanted to go get the hot chocolate, the famous hot choc, and we went to the wrong one. <laughs> so we've got a Starbucks and we're making our way to the next one, but we realised we're near the second. Oh, well, it's car going. Um, so I'm gonna go see that first. Yeah, might as well do a bit of sightseeing while we're here, hey? But this area is lovely. What is it, Montmartre? Montmartre. Montmartre? It's so nice. It's lovely. It's not easy, easy. Like we were in the area of the famous uh, photo booth and best behold is that the saying lo and behold lo and behold we were 10 minute walk away so we went here is the little thing i have some tips for that well i don't even have any tips i have some things to say <laughs> um it is very very tight in there yeah grace had to sit on my knee yeah and like it's kind of like look how close we are <laughs> That is all you can see on those photos of, is my chins. So I don't know where the camera was because no, but, like, and it's I was looking straight in the black bit, but for it to have that angle of my chin, yeah, it must maybe, have been lower than we thought. Maybe needed to be higher. I don't know, but, it's, but we, we did it. It's cute. Yeah, um, and nice little man. Guess what we saw around the corner? Like honestly, like on a street like this. No, we, it wasn't as nice as the street. We saw someone propose to someone, and she said, "Yeah, she cried. It was cute." 
but uh, it was weird. It was a weird location. It and just was felt weird because we have literally seen so many unreal places Yeah, this is there. a beautiful area and, and they picked a really weird street. A, just a random side street. But congrats, congrats guys, <laughs> if you're watching. We have they are made French, up the though. narrative that um, they bumped into each other on that on street because they're French. They so we're and gonna go so with it's that. really, really thoughtful. Yeah. Cute. Anyway, we're going to the Eiffel Tower now because Charlie was like, I've been in Paris like two days and I've not seen the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> It's not easy, easy, easy Ooh, Cause you say You don't need me, need me, need me We are sat for a little picnic at the Eiffel Tower, as you can see. Aww. This is like the low key one of the only bits with shade because it's like about 34 degrees. It's so hot. It's boiling. Um, but yeah, we've been to Aldi, which was interesting. <laughs> and we've got loads of snacks, so I'll show you what we've got. Maybe Charlie can hold the camera and I'll do a little haul. First up, always gotta get crisps. Always. <laughs> We're in France, we've got Brie. <laughs> when in France? Something that looks a little bit like boisson, uh, but it's a uh, tartare. <laughs> I think it's just like cheesy, herby dip. That's what we're hoping for. And then we got, well, I got, Charlie hates tomatoes, but I love tomatoes, so. Tomatoes. Chicken Caesar salad <laughs> in a box. Uh, not sure how that would go, but we'll give it a go. Um, these interesting flavour of crisps, not quite sure what they are. Um, some little, little trips, those. Some parmesan. Oh. Or jamon serrano. Uh, hummus. There, we've got some actual hot drinks. We've got wine. We've got two of them. This is an interesting one that's like grenadine. Interesting to try that. A tropical oasis. And then two bottles of water. And that's yeah. hydration is key. That's everything we've got. So we're gonna enjoy that now. By the Eiffel Tower and have fun. And have fun. <laughs> and have fun. Look at that. I'm just gonna wrap it up <laughs> from a little parcel. Mm. We've had like the best time eating picnic, haven't we? Oh my god, literally unreal. So cute. Oh, everyone's just really cute around here. Like everyone's having a really wholesome, lovely time. And Do you know what it reminds me of? You know on Love Actually when they're like filming people at the airport and stuff and you're just watching them and yeah. like lovers all around there. People like somebody there, and there was a woman here reading a book. They've like got a group of girls. Yeah, built, like, like bring your own board kind of yeah, vibe. I love and that. It's just so cute, and everyone's just so happy. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, the reason I came quickly back on was because I didn't mention I got myself some new sunnies today. They don't look very protective, and they probably are the most protective of the sun, but they really match my outfit, so I got them. Wow. Giving me, is it Anastasia who wears some glasses like that? Anastasia vibes. Yeah, I think I can make them look cooler. Right now, I look a bit like a nerd. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I can make them look at the minute they're just a headband. But yeah, got them for four euros, which is sick. Anything else, Ad? We're going to go back soon because we want to go to the steak, um, famous steak fries restaurant. So we want to go when it opens. So we're going to head back in a bit and get changed. Comfortable, and no one seems to hold me like you do. Mm. You're so wonderful, a star could never shine this bright as you. Mm. Even the dark. 
but they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you and I still Good evening I kind of didn't want to film much more in the hotel room because that's a bit boring but I thought I needed to kind of give a, a roundup of the night because I didn't do as much kind of vlogging as I would have hoped. We went to the famous like steak and fries place. Steak and fritz. But it took an hour and 40 minutes queue, which is ridiculous <laughs> when you think about it. Um, so that was mental really that we waited in that but it was okay we got there the salad was nice um and then the steak <laughs> and fries were, were really nice uh, but we both kind of said like we've done it now like i don't I think i definitely wouldn't queue again no we wouldn't queue again it was really lovely like, i mean the sauce was amazing but it's not worth a one hour 40 minute queue <laughs> um then after that we wanted to go watch the eiffel tower sparkle <laughs> And we put in an address, and we pr basically want we needed to be set, we needed to be at this end of the road, and we went all the way to this end of the road. And so the then, longest road ever known to man. Yeah, and basically what should have been a twenty-minute walk ended up being a forty-minute walk, and we were in those stupid boot heels. So we stood up in a queue on a street for an hour forty minutes in the boot heels, and then walked forty minutes in the boot heels. So our feet are in bits. Yeah. We took our nice photos though, we got some nice videos off the Eiffel Tower, had some nice yeah, food, it was but really we have Disney tomorrow, so we're just gonna chill in bed, maybe watch an episode of Emily in Paris as we're in Paris. Um, and I'll actually see you on Monday in this vlog because I'm gonna do a separate video for Disney. Uh oh. <laughs> it is a day technically for what day is it for Friday Saturday Sunday Monday four yeah day four we're packing up our stuff Charlie is struggling as you can see I'm sweating. we have actually got a bit of time before our flight but obviously we need to check out um so we're just packing obviously packing up our stuff now and then we I mentioned the other day that we wanted to go to Crep like that the famous hot chocolate place but when we went i can't remember if i said or not when we went to montmartre it's it was just like a little stall it wasn't like a sit-in restaurant i couldn't we i don't think they even did the hot chocolate did they no um so when you're searching for it don't go to that one we're going to another one now um more in the city center i think um but it's right it's quite close to the dior museum which we have booked as well for today so we've got two nice activities and we'll see what else we can fit in if we need to Um, before we got in the taxi to Corette, we just double checked our Dior Museum tickets and it said no luggage allowed. Which, if you think about it, makes sense. Like they, it's like a security threat. On closer inspection of the tickets, we realised the tour of the museum is two hours long and we probably would have missed our shuttle bus to the airport. So I think the universe was telling us not to go to the Dior Museum, which is just such a shame because it did look really cool. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't on the cards for us. And maybe if you're wanting to go to the Dior Museum, make sure it's on a day that you're not going home and you won't have suitcases. And then make sure um, you have two hours free. We've come to sit at a park that's near the shuttle bus. So we might go get a snack, our last snack in Paris. We're gonna have a nice chill here and then go home, I guess. Get some snacks and go. Mm -hmm. 